Hi, welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today I'm with Damien from Nextthink. Hi Damien. Hi Russ. So what can you tell us about Nextthink? So Nextthink is a global leader in uh, employee digital employee experience. Um, we provide uh, IT teams with a certain number of capabilities like real-time analytics, automation, and employee feedback across endpoints. All right, and what part of Nextthink are we going to be looking at uh, today? So today, um, we are going to, to look at uh, Nextpeak experience, so that's our cloud project. And here, uh, as you can see, um, we have uh, multiple PCs and multiple regions. So here, I have region A uh, with uh, some components, region B and region C. And um, we have a, a specificity. Uh, we, we are, uh, our solution is based on a multi-ton platform. And for each customer, uh, we associate a region. Uh, this means that, for example, um, some customer, a customer will be deployed in region A, could be deployed in region B, and in region C. Um, so, of course, uh, the challenge for us is to route uh, the request, the HTTP request, uh, as soon as possible to the right uh, EKS cluster where the HTTP endpoint is deployed. Uh, so, to uh, minimize the impact in terms of latency, we use route 53 and uh, uh, latency-based routing uh, to retrieve um, the DNS uh, to, to, to have the, the IP addresses of our API gateway. So let's say, for example, this user uh, will uh, request uh, the IP address, will call directly the API gateway, and then we need to figure out uh, where do we need to, to, to deploy uh, or to route uh, this request. So the API gateway will access a Lambda function, will go uh, directly uh, to DynamoDB to make the association between so turn on to UID and the region it belongs to. Okay, I see with DynamoDB here, it doesn't seem related to any particular region. Uh, why is that? Well, that's a good question. Actually, we are using um, global table in DynamoDB. So this concretely means that uh, it's available for all the regions. Okay, and what comes next? Yeah, then uh, as soon as we have uh, the association between um, the turn on to UID and the region, uh, we can route the request uh, to the right EKS cluster. So in this case, uh, the Lambda could be either in the same region or we need to go across region. And in this case, we are reusing or we are using uh, the transit gateway. Okay. Then the transit gateway, uh, if for example, we say this uh, customer is deployed in, e in, in the EKS cluster in region C, we will use the interpering uh, communication between the two transit gateway and the call will be routed in uh, the EKS cluster here. Okay, so theoretically that customer could be in, in region B. So from this we can say the customer is only associated with a single region, right? Yeah. That, that obviously makes sense. Why would you have, uh, can you give me an example of a customer that would have uh, their lowest latency would be to region A, but they happen to be in region C? Yeah, that's a good question actually. Um, I, I, we have a, a lot of customers uh, with, uh, which are deployed across the world, and, and, and some of them are, have offices in, in, in Asia, in Europe, or in the US. Uh, and during the, the design phase, we say, okay, it will, I mean, everything will be deployed in region C in terms of uh, data storage and, and, and EKS endpoints. Um, but uh, of course, if I'm not in the same region uh, because I belong to another uh, offices, then in this case, uh, I need to, uh, to go uh, through this process uh, to be routed in the right region. So that's more or less related to the size of our customer. All right. Fantastic. Damien, I want to thank you for coming today and sharing uh, this architecture with us. It's been very interesting. Thanks a lot, Russ. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.